Welcome to AS and A level chemistry. Our topic for today is halogen alkanes. So as the name suggests, halogen alkanes are basically alkanes where one or more hydrogen atoms have been replaced by halogen atoms. So for example, let's say we have the alkane ethane. So this is uh, this is the structural formula for ethane, and let's say we replace one hydrogen atom with a halogen atom. Now uh, you can see that a, a free radical substitution mechanism has taken place, and this is a halogen alkane that we formed. Because if you remember from the hydrocarbons playlist, uh, we did the free radical substitution mechanism, and this uh, and this was the product that we found. Now, um, how do we name these halogen alkanes? So, this will simply be chloro. So, if it's a, if there is a chlorine atom, then chloro. If there's a bromine atom, then bromo. And if there is an iodine atom, then iodo. So, like, and if if there is a fluorine atom, then fluoro. So, what you have to do is you have to take the first part of the name of the halogen and then add an O in the end. So this will become chloro and then the name of the alkane, so ethane, so chloroethane. So what if now, uh, so what if I have a halogen alkane with the general formula, with a, with, a, with, a, with, a, with a molecular formula in fact, C2H4Cl2. So let's say I have this halogen alkane and uh, let me let me try to make the isomers. So I'll be using I'll be using um, structural uh, skeletal formula for this. So one isomer can be this, which is CH three CH two Cl, and uh, sorry not Cl but it, it it should be actually this. So you can because there are two chlorine atoms I forgot. So if you if we start numbering from the carbon atoms one and two, you can see that on the first carbon atom there are two chlorine atoms attached. So this will become 1, 1, dichloro, ethane. Because if you can see, ethane because 2 carbon atoms, dichloro because 2 chlorine atoms, and 1, 1 because both chlorine atoms are on the first carbon atom. Now, the other isomer we can have for this is, 1 carbon atom, 2nd carbon atom. So this isomer will be 1, 2, dichloroethane. Because everything remains the same. What changes is that instead of the first carbon atom, the one of, so one of, the, one of the chlorine atoms is on the first carbon atom and one chlorine atom is on the second carbon atom. So that's why 1, 2, dichloroethane. So let's do some complex isomers for this. Uh, let's say we have a halogen with uh, halogen alkane with five carbon atoms. Then H N C L two. So let's say we have this halogen alkane. Uh, we have to make the isomers for this halogen alkane. So it's a dichloropentane actually. So we'll make isomers for the dichloropentane form. So one, two, three. Uh, I'm sorry about that. So these are five carbon atoms, and then we have to attach two chlorine atoms. So now if we number the carbon atoms, one, two, three, four, five. So this is how we number the carbon atoms, and then uh, this, so this is the first one. You can see that there are two chlorine atoms on the first one, and the chain is five carbon atoms long, so it will become one, one, dichloropentane. Now, will this have any stereoisomers? It will not, because if you notice, there are no carbon carbon double bonds, so no geometric isomerism, and there are no uh, and there there is no chiral center, so no optical isomerism. So this will exist as a single isomer. Now, in the other in the other one, what we can have is in the other isomer, 
we can have the chlorine on the first carbon atom and we can have the chlorine on the second